The Faculty of Science and Technology brings together researchers from a number of disciplines doing work over a really fantastic variety of subjects. If you have a look around our website, you'll find descriptions of work around various aspects of biology and applied biotechnology, um, public health, human nutrition, various aspects of advanced work in computing and electronics. I'm a reproductive physiologist with a special interest in endocrinology. The overarching theme of my research is an interest in how nutrition affects the reproductive axis. My interests, a lot of them, um, involve um, understanding how cells interact with each other and therefore how they um, communicate with each other. I'm a reader in industrial biotechnology and biochemistry within the Faculty of Science and Technology of the University of Westminster. I'm also the director of Westminster Genomic Services, which is the laboratory you see here a facility at the University of Westminster that is used to explore various aspects of genetics, DNA, RNA molecules and how they are influencing life, both in terms of biomedical applications as well as applications for the industry. The research I do tends to focus on around how we can use these molecules either to diagnose disease or to treat people for diseases. My area of particular expertise is on liver disease, so I look at particular mechanisms involved in liver disease due to alcohol abuse, um, alcohol, uh, diet related damage, also kind of iron overload, uh, so kind of, kind of wide breadth of different mechanisms, but in liver disease. Too. Research-wise, I'm working on cardiovascular epidemiology and cancer epidemiology, currently working with some glycobiologists looking at um, survival and recurrence of breast cancer patients. We're working on a series of about 3,000 women with breast cancer, looking at whether or not they go on to recur, and we're looking ideally to see whether or not we can redefine some of the um, recommendations that are given to cancer patients, because they're a very motivated group who want to do something to help themselves to recover, and at the moment the recommendations are very sparse because evidence doesn't yet exist to fully promote nutritional or dietary changes. My main research interests are in viral zoonoses, highly pathogenic viruses, the public health threat these poses and how we can use simple technology to address these and develop vaccines and antiviral agents to combat the threat that these pose. We use viral-like particles to look at the spread of these viruses within animal uh, populations and also address the threat that these pose by working with biotechnology and public health labs to develop new vaccines and antiviral agents to combat any of the threats that these viruses will cause. My area of interest is clinical reasoning. Now, clinical reasoning is, is interesting. It's not just the diagnosis or the decision making, it's really how a practitioner makes meaning in a clinical consultation, the clinical encounter. I think the future of medicine has to be integrative medicine and that's where all medical professionals work together for the, for the sake of the patient. We do significant work in various aspects of electronics and computing which are very much rooted in real world applications. I'm representing a research group which is called uh, the Centre of Parallel Computing. Our research interest is related to areas called uh, cloud and grid computing and we are solving uh, computation intensive problems. So uh, what is the focus of the group is that uh, if one particular computation requires huge computing capacity or access to large databases, then our research group can solve those kind of problems. We undertake uh, a number of uh, projects currently in various areas of signal processing, biomedical electronics, satellite positioning systems, as well as onboard processing uh, payloads for uh, communication satellites. My research interest is in computer vision. This means designing algorithms that can make computer systems understand what is in a picture or understand what kind of actions are taking place in a video. There are applications in computer vision and security. For example, one can see 
uh, in borders control, or they're using with electronic passports, or in health, where medical experts are using computer vision to help them diagnose uh, diseases. One of our key strengths is the very diversity of the research that we do and the way in which researchers from various disciplines have been brought together in the faculty. I'm the research coordinator for the Department of Psychology. We've got loads of really exciting research projects going on in the department at the moment. There's um, social psychologists looking at um, relationships and love and attraction and also looking at things like body image um, and beauty and perceived beauty. We've also got um, health psychologists that are looking at things like mindfulness meditation and looking at other how psychology really can support health behaviours and help people to um, lead more healthy lives. We've also got people looking at forensic psychology and looking at, for example, the vulnerability of prisoners and um, self-harming in, in the prison. There's a couple of current projects looking at um, how we engage with the internet and particularly our online presence and how we use Facebook and, and Twitter and also how we um, people engage in internet relationships. 